Hi guys, Lisa here. Today we are going to be doing something new, at least for me. Uh, I'm going to be trying to make plantable paper. Uh, I've made paper for a long time now, but I've never made seed paper. And I know some people that follow my general tutorial to make their own seed paper, but I thought I need to give this a shot myself. If you don't know, plantable paper is basically paper that has seeds in it, so that when you're done with it, you can plant it and something beautiful will grow, whatever you choose your seeds to be. And this can be such a cool gift. This can be great for thank you cards, for business cards, for just birthday cards, anything really. And I'm really excited to give this a shot. I'm gonna be trying to make this as smooth and as usable as possible so you can really use it as a card for whatever you would choose to. I'm really excited to give this a shot. If you're curious to see how I do this, please keep on watching and let's get on with the video. Okay, as always, we have to make our paper pulp. I make my pulp from old printer paper that is shredded and has soaked in water for a while. I add that to a blender with some water and blend it until it becomes a pulp. I strain the pulp partly and add it to a container for easy storage. If you want more information about this process or need suggestions for alternative materials, check out my paper making tutorial where I go over everything in detail. I repeat the process multiple times until all the paper is broken down and I have a box full of pulp. Because I don't want my paper to be super white, I am adding coffee to give it a more of an earthy look. I ended up adding two cups and letting it sit for a while so the color would really take. I wouldn't suggest adding any non-natural colorants such as paint, as it might not be so great for your seeds or plants once you plant the paper. I then store the pulp away until I am ready to use it. Now for my plantable paper, I will be using this new molden decal from the Etsy store called Wild Plant Paper, where I also get my other molden decals. I pour the seeds I will be using into a small container so I can easily access them. These are daisy seeds that were once gifted to me for a Reddit Secret Santa exchange, so thank you Secret Santa. I then grab a nice handful of the bowl we made and add it to a large container of water. I make sure to stir well. I then get my molten deco ready and dip in the container to scoop up a good amount of pulp. This one specifically seemed great for this project because it makes two smaller sized pieces of paper in the time it normally takes to make one, and these two seem the perfect size for plantable cards. I let all the water drain out, and once most of it is out, I balance it on my arm and carefully take off the deco to reveal the two sheets of paper. I then put the mold to the side. Now I get my seeds ready and sprinkle them over the pulp. I try to spread them as evenly as possible. I then press it in to get it underneath the pulp a little bit. Okay, disclaimer for those who are following along. This step of pressing in, it is quite important and will keep your seeds from falling out. I did not do this step properly in all of my sheets and you will see the result from that mistake later on in the video. So make sure you do this to have a better result than I did. So now the seeds are on, I am transferring it to a cotton sheet. I did not get the wrinkles out of my sheets so they will be visible on my paper but that's okay, just letting you know. I press it in firmly and squeeze out all the excess water with the sponge. I then carefully lift the mold and ta-da, there are the cards. You can see the seeds sticking out from the back. I then lift up the fabric and carefully place it on a hard surface so I can move it later. You can now repeat these steps until you're either out of pulp, out of seeds, or if you're just over it. So you add some more pulp to the water, scoop with your mold and deco, lift off the deco, Add the seeds, press in, transfer the pulp to a cotton sheet, and place that carefully on top of the others. Now once you're finished, you want to let them dry. I like to hang them up on a drying rack, but you're free to let them dry however you want. Mine should be dry within a few hours, so I will come back for them tomorrow. Oh. 
Alrighty, here are the dried cards. They are ready to be peeled off of the fabric. There are some seeds that didn't stick to the paper, but the paper still has plenty of seeds itself, so I'm not too worried. I continue peeling all the cards and they all have plenty of seeds still in them to work. I also made some cards without any seeds that I can just quickly peel off. I collected all the seeds that had fallen off so I can still use this later. You can clearly see in this paper that the seeds are laying inside but also on top of the paper. This can be partly fixed by pushing them in better like I said before, but if you are looking for a result that is still somewhat smooth paper but with the seeds really embedded and not visible, I think adding a second layer on top would be your best bet, almost like a sandwich, which is something I could try in another video. For the last step, I'm adding them to my book press for a day or so so they can get nice and flat. If you don't have a book press, putting them underneath anything heavy will do their job too. This is what they look like now they're nice and flat. I think they turned out pretty well. They definitely have a nice aesthetic to them. One side has the seeds visible, the other one is all lumpy. I think it's time to write something on them. Because I think these will be super cute as thank you cards, I will be writing thank you on them with my brush pen. I haven't written like this in forever, so please don't roast my writing. This pen isn't great for this paper, but it works well enough and doesn't seem to bleed. Let's try the other side. Also fine, but just not smooth. Now there's one thing left to do, and that is of course to plant the plantable paper. I got a pot, now I'm adding some drainage ball thingies. I really don't know much about plants, I might be doing this all wrong, but it's about the idea anyways. Of course I'm adding some toil too. Then I take my seed card and rip it in half. I don't think I need the entire card for this spot. Let's half this again so it's just a bit easier. And then I'm just kind of placing them inside the soil to give them the best chance of survival. I don't want them to overlap too much. Then I'm just adding a little bit more soil and topping it off with some water. And there we have it. The plantable paper is planted and now let's hope we get beautiful daisies out of this. And that's all there is to it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer as much as I can. And if you want to see more of me, you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at NeverMindLisa on both. And for now, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.